guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maddie. And don't forget to subscribe down below and let's get into the video. So the first life hack is you can go into your photos and you can go to the top and you can search keyword. Like I'm going to search dogs and then all these different photos of dogs are going to come up. So that is good. So life hack number two is you can go in settings to so do not disturb. You can hit the schedule tab. And you can choose a time you from when you want it to not be disturbed. So say you're going to bed at 12 and you're going to have at 7 and you don't want anyone to disturb you, you can do that. If you scrolled all the way, so the third life hack is say you've scrolled all the way down to the bottom of a page, you can tap the top of your screen right on the timestamp at the top. So like 3, right now it's 346, you can tap on that and it will scroll all the way back up to the top without you having to scroll. So that was pretty cool. Okay, so the next thing is when you lock your phone and you go to go into it and you go over to like emergency phone call like this, there's a little thing right here. I'm not going to, I'm just going to highlight it but not actually go into it. It's called medical ID. You can fill that out in um, your contacts. So if you go to contacts and then you find yourself, which I'm not going to click myself because I'm not going to want my phone number to be all out there. Then what you can do is fill in all your medical history. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll say show medical history and you can fill that completely out. So something new that is in the timer section is there's bedtime. So you can set what time you would like to go to bed and what time you would like to wake up. So say I'm going to say my I want to wake up at 6.35, I want to go to bed at 9.15, so it's going to say that I'm going to get about 9 hours and 20 minutes of sleep if I stick to that. So I don't know if a lot of you guys knew this, but you can play games in iMessage, so let me get to someone I used to be playing. So this one I actually can't show you on my iPhone because this is an only iPhone 7 thing, but I'll insert a picture of it. And there are shortcuts on the bottom of your screen that bring you to quick cool little things. So like when you scroll up, so yeah, you're seeing the picture right now. So if you have the iPhone 7, and definitely use those, those can come in really in handy. So when you go into photos, there's this new thing called memories, and then it makes a video for you of that day. So now you can go to your notes and you can make a checklist. So by just going down to the bottom of your screen there's a little check mark. If you click on it, it will make a bullet point list. So let's say I need to say work out. After I've done it, I can just check it off. So you're going to be in compass, you're gonna slide over, when you turn it completely sideways, it's a leveler. Oh, it's so cool. I'll turn green when it's level. Okay, so this is a bonus one, and I don't have, I personally don't have the Uber or the Lyft app because I don't need to be using those, but apparently you can call Siri, or you can ask Siri to call an Uber or a Lyft. So I'm going to try it. I don't have either of the apps, so I don't know if it's going to work. So this is a bonus. Siri, can you call me an Uber? I don't see an app for that. You'll need to download one. Okay. So yeah. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below. I love doing life hack videos. I love like searching the depths of the internet or figuring out ones on my own. So I think I'm going to be doing a lot more life hack videos because they're personally really fun for me. And I know a lot of people tend to like them, so... If I like them, you like them, it's kind of a win-win situation, so yeah. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, and with that essay, I love you all. Bye!